Well, today, another season of honor flight trips begins. And they take uh, local veterans to Washington, D.C. to see monuments that have been built in their honor. Wing 15's Charles Benberry is live from the 122nd Fighter Wing with more on the first flight this year. Good morning, Charles. Emily, good morning. Yeah, we showed you in uh, just a few minutes ago. The room is getting busy here. Veterans are coming and their excitement is through the roof here as the first flight for Honor Flight gets set to kick off in just a few hours. And President Kathy Brookshire joins me this morning. First off, hey. Kathy, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm not too bad. It's good. always good to see you here. The excitement level is high, as I've been mentioning. First off, your guys' excitement for the first flight of the new year. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. First of five this year. So, yeah, we are excited. Five flights this year. I think there are 83 veterans on this flight. Is that correct? Yes, there's 83 veterans. We have one World War II veteran. We have 12 Korean veterans, uh, 12 Cold War veterans, 57 Vietnam veterans, and one Iraqi Freedom veteran with us. And obviously you can't speak for the veterans themselves, but it's been known as an emotional day for veterans who get to go to Washington, D.C. What's that day really like for not only the veterans, but for you guys as well going out and seeing these monuments? It's a very emotional day. Sometimes it can be a very healing experience for our veterans. Uh, we say we have a lot of allergy attacks throughout the day. Um, I know I've talked to several Vietnam veterans and they're a little leery about going to the wall and how that's going to affect them, especially if they served in country. And I keep telling them all, we just call them allergy attacks. It's okay. And it's perfectly fine. Yeah, and it's a long day as well, but you know, this is a great way for them to honor their brothers and sisters who might have passed who didn't get to see them and as you mentioned, pay their respects for, for those brothers and sisters. Oh, absolutely. And uh, we get uh, to have a wreath laying ceremony at uh, Arlington National Cemetery for the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And we have our World War II veteran is going to be one of the four laying the wreaths. So we're real excited. And then we got about 30 seconds on the way back. Um, you guys are not doing the welcome home. Is it still through Facebook or how is that still working? Correct. Uh, due to airport construction and limited parking, we're not allowed to have the big welcome home again, uh, probably all this year. Um, so it's kind of disappointing with our Vietnam veterans. They don't get to have that big welcome home. But um, unfortunately, we just can't do it right now. Well, Kathy Berkshire, thanks for joining me all morning long. Good luck with today's flight as well. Again, on our flight, we'll be flying off just in a few hours. So the veterans here are getting ready. 83 of those veterans are going to be taking the trip to Washington, D.C., visit those monuments and come back again. If you do want to welcome those veterans home, pay attention to their Facebook page. They'll have all the instruction that you need to have to welcome them home. But live at Honor Flight, I'm Charles Benberry, Wayne 15 News.